it can be really difficult to keep your home warm in winter and it can also be really expensive as well. And one way to keep the drafts out is by making thermally lined curtains. There are many different ways to make curtains, but the thermally lined curtains that I'm going to show you how to make have got three separate layers to them. So just like you would layer up if you were going out for a walk on a cold day, the layers of these curtains are going to help to keep the heat in your home. The top layer, or outer layer of fabric, is the fabric that you'll see in your curtains, and I've chosen this one from Laura Ashley. The middle layer is called interlining, and this is a heavy cotton bump. It gets sandwiched between your outer fabric and the backing fabric, which is called soft back lining. On one side, it looks like normal fabric, and on the other side, it's got a sort of fleecy texture to it. For these curtains, we're going to make each curtain the same width as the whole curtain pole. Once you know what your finished curtain size will be, the following rules will all apply to those measurements. So for your main outer fabric, you'll have to cut it 23 centimetres longer than your finished curtain and 10 centimetres wider, and that's to allow for the hem and the seam allowance at the side. For the middle layer of fabric, that heavy cotton bump, you'll have to cut the fabric the same width as your finished curtain, but seven centimetres shorter. For your backing fabric, which is the soft back lining, you'll have to cut it 12 and a half centimetres longer than your finished curtain, but four centimetres narrower. And the reason that we make the linings smaller is so that we don't see them once your curtains are hanging up. Make a small snip at the side of the fabric, grab one of the threads and then give it a pull and gently gather up the fabric to pull the thread along and that's going to give you a line that you can then cut along that is going to be straight. Because my curtain is wider than the width of the fabric, I'm having to join two lengths or drops of fabric together. This is the backing lining here, so as you can see it looks like normal fabric on one side and that's the side that we'll see and this fleecy stuff will be on the inside of the curtain. You've got to pin the fabric together just along the one edge that you're going to sew. This process will have to be repeated for the interlining, that heavy cotton bump and your outer fabric as well. Once you've pinned your drops of fabric together, you need to sew them on the sewing machine with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. You'll have to repeat this for all of the three layers of fabric. Now that you have all your layers of fabric cut to the correct length and width, join me in part two where we'll start putting these layers together.